Shooting sticks. Now, after I did my recent uh, deer stalking video, a few of you were asking me about the sticks I was using. Now, I would have liked to have gone through step by step by step how I made them, but it was a bit of a work in progress. In fact, um, of that that video where I took down the deer, this wasn't really completed yet. So, you know, I'll go into that in a few minutes. So, really, I kind of, as I said, it's kind of evolved, but essentially, for the bare minimum to make a set of sticks like this, and when I say a set of sticks like this, I mean quad sticks. So you've got the front of the rifle there, the back of the rifle there, into your shoulder, ready to go. And it costs about £18. Now, you compare that to, like, I think Sealand do a set of quad sticks, and they're, they're about 90-odd quid. And, if I'm honest, mine are much better. But <laughs> we'll get onto that in a moment. Additional things that put the price up, I'll, as I said, I will go into. But for a start off, what you basically need to do is to go to home base and buy some uh, gardening canes, like four canes, I think came to about four, 14 pounds. And these are about three quarters of an inch diameter. You don't want to get the really thin ones because if you do, for a rimfire, it's fine. But for a big, heavy centerfire rifle, they'll flex, especially with the recoil. So, you know, you need to be mindful of that. And then once you've got them, uh, you then just need a set of, uh, f what, four bolts and four nuts. Now, ideally, you want the nuts with the um, nylon in the, uh, in the nut itself. So once you put it on, obviously, it's not going to come off. I mean, that was about four pounds. Once you've got that, that is literally it. Just get these poles cut them to the right size, you know, which is, you can measure by holding it up and how tall you are and so on. And then at the bottom, I've probably got some footage to overlay here, but you can see I've cut one pole shorter than the other and then just drill the hole straight through and attach it there. Same on the other side. So now these two sticks are attached to the bottom of these two sticks. These two sticks will actually go in the ground. So those are the ones you need to measure sort of perfectly so they, you know so it's the right height these ones it depends where you want to mount them on the stick um, it doesn't really matter overly I suppose maybe if you're in some really mushy ground you might want to give a bit of clearance because it doesn't really matter I mean you could mount them halfway up I mean it doesn't really make any difference now after that that is really the, the that is the sticks but if you want to make them a bit nicer you can get these now these are racing push bike uh, grips that I got from Halfords and they're about four quid each, well not each but for a set, but unfortunately in one set you only get the caps on, on two of them, so I have to buy two sets, so it's about eight quid. So that puts the price up at that point to um, uh, about 22, 22 pounds. Now the reason why you want the caps is you can put the foam, cut the foam to length, put it over and then you can push the cap actually onto the end of the pole and that makes a nice snug, nice fit, to make sure there's no sharp edges and, and so on. When you're cutting this, this reminds me, when you're cutting this end, you don't want it too big. This end, it doesn't really matter because that's just in the way the rifle sits, but this end, you don't want it to jam you in the, in the chin. Now, the other thing that I've noticed, and I've seen a few of the tutorials on how to make these sorts of sticks, they tend to have them closer together and they tend to like it so the pistol grip of the rifle is resting there. So their body's here, stock's here, and they're holding it like that. I don't understand why that's a thing, if I'm honest, because that isn't going to make it solid. What you want is this pole here to be against your body, so you want, to, you want this much further back. And if you actually have it behind the uh, swivel stud, so the swivel stud slightly in front of this, the swivel stud on the front's in front of that. You can then put this arm on here and you can lock this whole section into your body and push forward on this side. And if you've got a sling attached to the swivel stud, you can grip it like that. So you're not touching the rifle at all at this point because the rifle's fully supported into your shoulder. And then this hand is just like being on a bipod because th th this elbow is as if it was laying on the ground, but it's on this bar here and then you can put your hand just against it and touch the trigger. And that's the beauty of it really, because you know how I hate people who grab the, the pistol grip, although I know that's a controversial topic. Additionally though, and this is like a little uh, add-on 
which I didn't have when I did that deer stalking video, is a bit of paracord attaching one pole to the other. You, all you've got to do is deploy the, pot, the, 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 the stand, get it so, so it's just right, and then cut the string to length. Now, I used, as I said, I used paracord, so you want to make sure you do a decent, cut, cut, decent knot, because otherwise it will just come off. And then I got some uh, cable ties, and cable tied the, 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 the uh, string to the pole to make sure it doesn't slip. And then I just wrapped it in a bit of um, like camo tape, just to make it look a bit nicer. And then the additional bit, which you might have seen me as I've, well, you know, you won't have seen it, but I've, um, I've got some footage to overlay. So anyway, <laughs> um, you can get a bit of a paracord and attach it to here, and then have a loop at the other end to put your foot through. And if you do that, you can pull down with this this leg here, and you can really lock it down. Then I mean, you know, when you've got it set up like that, that's every bit as good as shooting off a bipod. You can shoot out to 500 yards accurately like that, well as accurately as you would on it with a normal bipod. So that's kind of it really. I suppose, oh, the additional bit is um, these feet. Now these are just walking stick feet. If you go onto Amazon, you get the three quarter inch ones, which are like, what's it, 19 millimeter? Something like that, my, my conversion to metric isn't great. But you know, just use your common sense, put those on if you want, you don't have to, but those are about, again, they're about four quid, something like that, and that came with four, so obviously it gives you a couple of spares. Now the advantage with that is, rather than just having a, a pole, because these poles originally are designed to go in the ground, so they've got a bit of a spike on the end, now that's all well and good, but if the ground's soft enough for that to work, then you don't really, it's not really a problem. And if the ground's hard, then they're useless. So by putting these feet on, it means if you are on so, some sort of rubble or, you know, possibly even a bit of concrete, you know, it'll still, it'll still do the job. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, all I did was, I, I, I got a bit of spray paint, I was a bit concerned about the nuts, them shining brightly in the light or whatever. So I just put a bit of black spray paint on it and just put a little bit over it generally just to make it look a little bit more camo. But I mean, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. But I think for the whole lot, to make a set of sticks exactly like this, exactly as you see here, the to absolute total price was about £35. And as I said, you know, the, the next best set of sticks you can get for that sort of money would be the Sealand set. And in my opinion, they're inferior because they're designed for you to put your hand through that well, if you're doing that, then you're relying on this arm for some of the support, any movement in this arm. You don't want that. You want these sticks to be just like a bipod, only standing up. And this setup does exactly that. So anyway, um, by all means, ask me any questions in the comments. If there's anything I've missed, because I probably have, because I've just literally just turned the camera on and just talked at you. And I do apologise for not going step by step by step how to do this by hand. But I mean, it's not rocket science, is it? cut the poles off to the right length, drill some holes in them, and then just bolt them together. It's not that hard. But once you've got a set like this, it really it really does make a big difference, especially at this time of year, because obviously the grass gets quite high. You know, so even if you've got a little two, two rim fire, this is still a really useful option to have standing up. So as I said, any questions in the comments, and if you were, and any of you guys fancy going out and trying to make some sticks like this, I'd love to see them, so post them to my Facebook group. Keep watching.